guys, the moment has come. Are you ready for this? Y'all see it in the little corner right there? Let's wait. Check this out. Ta-da! The famous rug doctor has finally entered the chat, okay? Finally, finally, this thing is heavy. So if you're doing this alone, I suggest you get somebody else to help you because this is heavy. It's heavy, but um, it's really affordable to rent it. I rented this one for 24 hours, so the way that it works, whatever time I rented it, it's the same time that I have to return it tomorrow. So the lady said 2.30. That's the time that I rented it. And then I also had to do a $15 deposit that I would get back. That, that way that they're sure that I get back the rug doctor. I got one more thing. This is something that they had at my grocery store. They had this one. I was between this one and the other bottle, but you guys know, I don't know if there's a difference, but this one said Max Advance and it says, Eliminates the toughest stains, our best formula. I think that's what got, got me, our best formula. So we shall see. Do I know how to use this thing? No clue. What will we do? Use YouTube. We love YouTube. So I am glad because I'm tired of this rug being right here and I want to clean it because it's dirty. Ugh. Let's do one more walk around of the dirty rug and yes it has been vacuumed already so don't come for me all right see real quick this is a before before don't forget about that stain right there oh yeah that's a stain that's not that's not those kind of rugs that you do this that no that's a stain oh don't forget that yellow right there y'all see that yellow right there Ugh, gross i don't even know what that is look at that it's just filthy oh my goodness have you guys ever seen ASMR videos of a person? It's like a TikTok. It's a guy that cleans rugs and ugh, they come black. Like you can't even tell what the pattern is, but it's so satisfying to watch. So I hope this video is satisfying for you guys. And if you guys are interested in cleaning your carpet for an affordable price, definitely check out Rug Doctor. This video is not sponsored by Rug Doctor. Guy in the video didn't show how he took this off, so let me show you guys. So let's pretend it's on. You're gonna hear a little snap once it's on, right? So we're gonna select one of these buttons. <laughs> you wanna close the door? So alright, so I don't know if you guys can see. I can hear that. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that well, but there's these two buttons right here. Do y'all see that? There's one, two. Y'all see those buttons right there? Okay, I'm gonna pretend that you guys see it. So, you see these buttons? You select either or button. It doesn't matter. When you're taking it off, it doesn't matter. So, bam. Hold it down, and it literally comes right off. Now, I don't know why that is wet, but I'm gonna clean that. And then that's how you get it off. So now we are gonna go to the sink. Assuming that you bought one of these cleaning things for your rug doctor i don't know if you can use anything that's not in the brand of rug doctor but just to be on the cautious side i got rug doctor we're gonna open this up open this up and whoever used whoever used this last is nasty because they should have emptied this but oh well that's ugh. i wonder how long that water's been sitting there Still water. I wonder how much these machines cost if you were to buy them and start your own renting business. But I will say that's smart. That's smart. I wish I would have came up with that myself. And then real quick, I'm gonna clean the machine. I don't know if you guys saw, but there's like a little bit of water there, and I just. Then you want to fill this up with hot water. So let's turn it on. How you would clean your floor. So maybe hot. Whatever you want, you know. Just not cold. Let me read this. 
take bottle and add six ounces per gallon of, of hot top water. Oh, so they said hot. Shake this. I feel like I'm not even shaking it. So shake this. Then I'm gonna open that. Okay, that's hot enough. So I'm gonna fit, like that's fill line. So you wanna fill this up to the line. Now, if, it's, if your carpet is not as dirty, then you don't have to use as much as much as the liquid of the rug doctor cleaning thing. Make sure you read this stuff right here. Basically, um, it'll let you know if it gets dirty. It'll let you know with the little light at the top, which I'll show you guys when we're over there. Let me fill this up. So this, you can fill... It says six ounces per gallon in here. This cap is three ounces, so you want to do two of these. Oh my God, it's so, okay. So y'all see, that's three ounces when you do six. And you can do less depending on how dirty your carpet is. Now, you guys saw it, mine, it's dirty, so we need six. We're gonna fill this up to the line. And the line is 1.5 gallons. Keep an eye on the line. I'm gonna do more. Okay, here we got six. Actually, I'm just gonna leave it at six and see what that does. But if you follow the directions, you would use nine. If you're filling it all the way up to the line. And technically, my rug is not that big, so. All right, so now, I close this. All right, so now I am going to start tabling this. And now you got your big baby filled up to the line. The line, fill line is right here. As you guys can see the liquid right there. So come on over here. And now we are just gonna put it back in here. And it should snap together. You should hear a snap sound. And that way you know that it's on properly. Make sure everything is nice and close. You don't want anything leaking. If you guys have any questions, it says right here, need help getting started. It'll give you some tips, I guess. It says step one, push, pull out tank, fill it to the line. All right, don't be scared to push it back. Whenever you get ready to clean, don't be, ready, don't be scared to push it back. That doesn't mean you broke it. So that's how we do that. Step three, squeeze and hold soap and scrub. They need to say, like this doesn't say where the soap and scrub button is. I'm gonna have to look that up. <sighs> be right back. All right, so the step three, the squeeze and hold, which I'm telling you guys, they don't even show. Like, what are you talking about? What is? What are you talking about? Where is that? It's right here, guys. It's right here. You're gonna hold this down and this will release what's in there. And then after we go through the whole rug, and even it, I mean, you don't have to use the whole thing, but if you're renting this out, you might as well clean other parts of your home because <laughs> why not? You have it. After we do the whole rug, then we are going to go ahead and empty. If there's anything in here, we're going to empty that and then we're just going to do hot water. No solution, just hot water because you don't just want to clean your carpet with soap and just that's it. No, ma'am. No, you want to extract it. You want it to be dry. Let's get started. I forgot to mention when you start it, if you're just doing the carpet, you would just turn this on like that and keep it on. And then this is how you turn it off. If you got the extensions, you would do two and then you would turn it on that way. But I only got this machine. That's it. So that's what I'm going to be using.
now that I've gone through a whole walkthrough, I also wanted to point out that at the end, or if your machine tells you with these buttons right there, solution empty or brush jam, you want to also empty this front one as well. There's a back one, that's where you do the liquid and the soap and the water. At the end, before you return this, you also want to empty this out as well. This is where the dirty water goes. So it's filling up. I don't know if you guys can see all the way back there, all the way at the bottom over there. Just wanted to show you guys that. Clean water release. Dirty water release would release this one. Clean water would release that one. I figured that out. I gave you a bad advice earlier. Let's take this out. Clean water release. And we're going to empty this in the toilet. Because you don't want to clog anything. So we're going to empty this in the toilet. And then I'll be with you to fill this up with hot water. Alright, now that this is empty, we're going to fill this up with hot water. So I've attached the hot water on that side and I've also went ahead and emptied this dirty water area that goes in the front so you just open this up and then throw the solution, this dirty water in the toilet as well. Now we are going to be pressing down the button again, we're going to let that water go all throughout the rug. what it's looking like now i did get a little warning that the solution was out with those red buttons that i showed you guys so it's looking really really good but we're not done yet our last step is basically just run it like you would a vacuum we are not going to hold down the red thing we are not going to hold this down anymore we are just gonna go run it back and forth until we are satisfied i guess because you want to make sure it's as dry as possible you don't want any mold or any of that so we're not using any solution any water nothing <laughs> officially done please make sure that when you're done you empty out both sides this side and the other side if there's anything on the other side and if not make sure to deep clean the inside you know just wash it out rinse it out for the next person and this is the after the stain that was somewhere over here i no longer see it it looks really really good as good as i can get it <laughs> by myself and not a professional i promise it actually looks lighter in person um it might not look like much of a difference, but on my end, there's a big difference. So yeah, make sure that you guys turn on a ceiling fan for this to dry out even better. Um, if not, get like a little fan and let that blow over here. You want to make sure it's dry by the next day. I am proud of myself. We finally got it done. Alright, I'm back in my little work area. I did want to go ahead and explain where you can get Rug Doctor because I didn't say that in the video. So if you want to rent out one of these carpet cleaners, all you do is literally Google RugDoctor.com and you can check it out. It'll show you where they're available. Um, sometimes... So like the place where I found my rug doctor was actually not on the website. So 
if you go to your grocery store and you go to the cleaning section if you look by where the laundry area and stuff is some stores will have big rug doctors there and what you do is you let somebody know that you want to rent the rug doctor and then they will help you out from there because they're locked so i don't know some people might try to steal it or whatever the case so ask for help first now not all stores will have rug doctor that's why i suggest that you save yourself the trouble and just look online but i just so happened to come across it in my store and if you actually go through the online process you can get a coupon so i definitely recommend that you check out the website first to save a couple dollars it is forty dollars if you want 24 hours i i was not aware that you can rent it for more than 24 hours but if you want to do that obviously i'm sure it's going to be more money it wouldn't be forty dollars i don't know how much it would be um but yeah so you always have the option to rent it for more than one day and remember guys you're renting this for forty dollars you might as well clean your whole house i will say it is a heavy machine i don't know if from the footage you guys could tell i know i'm tiny but even ty said that it was heavy so that's a grown man okay so he said it was heavy. he said it was heavy he said get that workout in sure was a workout so yeah, and you guys saw we did in total a total of three rotations, one with the solution, one with just the water, and then one with just letting it dry. So <laughs> it's time consuming as well, so make sure you have time. Overall, it wasn't bad. It, was, it wasn't bad. Now, I will say I saw videos online saying that they were having problems with the brush. If What do you do when there's a brush problem? I didn't have that happened to me but i'm sure you can get a solution online or just scan the qr code on the rug doctor itself and hopefully you get some answers that way all right y'all we are at shake shack shake shack let's see if it's good it should be good though i mean hopefully it's good actually it shouldn't be good because most shit like this don't be good but hopefully it's good i mean like i don't like i don't want to have no expectations okay all right wait 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 wait, wait. what you get the double bacon cheeseburger plain you know what i'm saying surprise it the lemonade. lemonade then i got coke fries and a bake uh, avocado bacon burger so we'll let y'all know so we got the burgers and they were actually really really good we see the hype now it was packed they were quick really really quick so competition for all of the other fast food chains so shake shack is now a business and their food is quick and good and yes the fries are certified by me. If you like avocado, get the avocado bacon burger like I did. Chef's kiss.